Hey guys, 8020 in the house. It's Nate here. Yet another lesson of the week. So I've been doing these collaborations the last few weeks, and I've got an up another I've got another great couple ones in store. But it gave me the idea to do a virtual collaboration. Someone who I'm a big fan of, but who is maybe a little bit a few echelons above my level so maybe i'm not quite on her radar but there's no reason that i can't bring her playing to you in a small degree uh in the way i've done with many of my other drum heroes probably by the unfortunate circumstance of the fact that there are not as many women playing drums as men a circumstance that i think is changing and i hope will change you've figured out who I'm talking about, and that is, of course, Miss Annika Nilas. So I wanted to bring you a little part of Annika's playing, and it was something that popped out to me during the Drumio lesson. So you don't need to get far in the Annika Drumio video to find a fill worth checking out. And one of the elegant things about this fill that she does, and for reasons that should be obvious to you if you think about it for a hot second, I'm not going to splice the track in here at all you're just gonna have to go to the video i'll link to it but it begins at about time index 140 and goes through about time index 150 so it's about 10 seconds long it's in four so the fill goes like this and i'm going to put the metronome on the downbeats on quarter notes and it starts on beat four so here we go one two three How about that? That was that was a single take. Not too bad. Uh, so let me slow it down for you. One, two, three. So I want to call your attention to three sort of principal elements about this. And one is the basic structure with which she goes around the drums. And it's essentially this and that's immediately applicable in a whole bunch of situations it's obviously just combining two rudiments the six stroke roll and the sextuplet but in groups of four so three four which is kind of a drum staple. So. so the next element that she incorporates in that you can tell she's practiced is this thing. Let me try to draw something out of that because there are two variations of it. So you can simply go three, four. But then you can incorporate the bass drum. You can replace some of those strokes with a kick drum. So. As she does in various parts of that fill. So then the last element in that, which is something that sounds really cool with the gated mics and the way the floor tom is tuned perfectly, unlike mine, but is this four group pattern over a sextuplet so it's the same thing so from the top it would sound like three four so the accent pattern is the same as a quarter note triplet if you're thinking in terms of the time and i'm going to try to remember where it's placed Okay, so it starts on the upbeat to one. So those are some cool things you can do with Annika's fill. So now, as if Annika and I were for real doing a collaboration the way I did with Chris Paprada last week, for which I'll have the part two for you extremely soon, I am going to give you a lick of my own invention 
that you could play over a similar tune at a similar tempo. So it's just this, three, four. If you do that continuously, it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. So the cool part comes when you start adding accents and orchestrating. So let me show you a couple variations of that. Three, four. So that's one variation. And then I like to do this Gospel Chops, Chris Coleman, Thomas Pridgen thing, which would sound like three, four. Right? So if you think about the same tempo that um, Annika is playing her tune, which is about quarter equals 110. One, two, three. So that's just a simple little thing that uh, I kind of developed. I think it's related to some stuff that I stole from Eric Harland, but that's another thing you could do. So if I were contributing a second chapter to a collaborative lesson with Annika, that's uh, what, I would, what I would tell you. So I have a small request for you guys, which is that I know my channel has decent viewership, although nothing on the order of magnitude that Annika has. But if anyone knows someone who knows Annika, and can get this video to her via some kind of back channel. That would be amazing. Otherwise, you guys who are fans of both Minds and Annika, just tweet this to her. Just know that there's a fan who would love to invite you on his channel to do a collaboration. Guys, real quickly, you know the drill. If you wanna go deeper, <laughs> if you've been checking out my channel for a minute and you feel like you trust me enough to study with me, three words for you, 80-20 coaching course. If you want a gateway drug to that, something that's a real low price that'll get you started and get you kind of understanding the issues with your playing and the reasons you might want to dig a little deeper and how to get more out of your practice, the 80-20 road map. <laughs> most, drummers fuffer, most, drummers fuffer, most drummers suffer from some version of the same three mistakes. Triage those mistakes, start getting better, put yourself on the path to upward trend line make the whole world of drummers better. Guys, had a lot of fun. Can't wait to get back at you next week with another lesson of the week. Peace.